Here's a little bit of three-point shenanigans going on here. Um, from the factory, this tractor would have to prevent the the, these from swaying everywhere, which right now the blade's on the ground, so it won't sway. But it's these limiting chains, and they just, that's it. Everyone I talked to hates them. These, this, this was a poor design. So the guy who helped weld this bracket, or he did the welding, I just took it to him. He came up with these. This is what he did on his John Deere bracket. And then from here, we're going to come up with an arm to here. And this is kind of what I'm thinking. Some threaded rod and a pipe. Uh, sorry for the shaky cam. But kind of got it. Kind of hard to do this one handed. Cut it at a slight angle, so it's slightly angled in, angled in. And then that one, the other plate, is going to go right there. Kind of like. Like so. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to do this. And then that'll. And then being threaded, you got some adjustments in case I hook up to something that's not as wide or. Um, or let's say if you want to pitch it all to one side for maybe plowing or something. You got some you got some leeway then. But I know one thing I would like to eventually replace is these arms here. So I gotta look into where I can buy some. Because they're they're pretty trashed. The guy straightened these out. These these were like all just smashed to hell and he straightened them out pretty decent this one was really bad this one you can still see it. it's straighter he didn't do any of this welding so i mean if you look at any of, his, any of his other welds i mean this guy does welding for a living he still wants to make a bracket in here because he's pretty sure that this will just bend right here so he wants to plate it a little bit but, but yeah, this isn't his welding. This is the previous people. But uh, he kind of just heated them up and straightened them out a little bit. And I actually, I don't think he heated them up. He's got an iron worker and he just uses it for everything. And I'm pretty sure that's what he probably used to straighten it out a little bit. But then next, I got to figure out is... Oh! Okay. used air fittings which is sweet oh maybe this might not be long enough uh, yeah kind of close gotta see there's a problem that should be cleaned out that's uh, pretty nasty in there Ooh, that's not great looking either hopefully some couplings will work in there if not um yeah, those just one thread right there. So they're replaceable. I probably should do that. Um, but yeah, then I'm going to get some Pioneer couplings and just make this work. So these go in there, like so. And now that I'm looking at this, I don't like how that is. Because when I was at the local hardware store, I've seen no adapters to convince it, to convert it from this to the larger Pioneer couplings. Because they got to be like, I don't know what size thread it didn't say, but pretty three quarters of an inch, one inch. This is like a quarter inch. So, yeah. it's all coming back to me now with this blade. I hated this blade. As it tripped really easily, which sure enough, when I was 
what little clawing I did with this setup, it pretty much instantly tripped. But I um, tried tightening the springs, so I might actually eventually replace the springs. Maybe that's the problem. But uh, it trips really easy. And now that I'm seeing all this, the previous owner replaced, he used air fittings for all of it. Which every time you would hook the blade up and unhook it, it leak fluid everywhere. Because just like right now, I mean, these rams don't got a whole lot of fluid in them to begin with. But, yeah, so... That is going to be the setup. Then that way everything is operated from the tractor. The bra this bracket's off right now. I got it painted along with that headlight. But got a car battery in it right now, and it starts a lot better than the battery that was in here. Even though this battery is junk, it fell off the back of my truck, and the bottom of it cracked, so it kind of leaks. It just doesn't look like it's leaking at the moment, but yeah. It's not good. So, but it starts the tractor a lot better than in uh, that one down there. And that's on my battery maintainer. So, and this kind of didn't line back up when I tried putting everything back together. Right now, my hands are dirty. I'm getting fingerprints all over this nice red painted hood. So, I'm gonna put the emblem, I think it was on this side or was it the other side? But got that looking nice. Ooh, shiny. Took a little bit of paint on a brush and then painted the inside and painted the black. So at least that looks nice. Even did a little bit of polishing on the chrome emblem here. This thing goes up there like so. So it's definitely coming along. I know I got to get some couplings, uh, compression fittings, like the one they got down here. And I'm going to change these lines up a little bit so I can mount that a little better. Um, don't exactly know how I'm going to mount it because there ain't a lot of room in between there. So I might just maybe mount it on the side. Something kind of like this. Not sure yet. But something better than that, that's not good. That's the hydraulic cooler. And the way these are kinked and stuff like that, I don't think it's doing much for cooling. And that's got to be pretty hard on the tractor itself. I mean, a lot of it stems from, like, this gets warm. Like, when I was driving it, it this, this was legitly my... Was my hand warmer? I'm like, oh man, my hands are cold. Ooh, nice and warm. So that looks like that all goes to that cooler. So that's yeah, something that should be fixed. I mean, even if it's off to the side, just something's better than nothing. And then I gotta change this fan in here. The bearings are going bad. Um. Of course, I hosed her down with a lot of WD-40 on the inside, so maybe I can get away with a little while. But... Oh. Boy, or else it squealed. But... Then now that it's in the garage, the choke cable will work, or else I have to start it from the ground. And then hold the chalk and jump the starter. It's quite really scary because if it's in gear, it will run you over. Um, this will be nice one time when all this is painted and this light got painted a little bit. I mean, there's chips and stuff. It should have been all blasted and stuff like that. I know. We tried some red paint in a can and it's a different shade. So we're not going to do that. But. Then the lights are going to get hooked up and they're going to work and they did work for a little bit and then the switch ground it out so I gotta insulate the switch and luckily I had a fuse in it so I didn't lay on fire or nothing stupid. 
So, and get a good muffler. That car muffler, which I have no clue where it's sitting at the moment, is junk. So, and, for, and Fleet Farm sells them for like $23, I think I've seen them. So it's like, yeah, that's, that's going to be worth it. That's where the radiator cap is supposed to be if it had the factory radiator. But she's probably out of oil. Right, check it. Ready? Uh, I think she's out of oil. Oh, just a little bit. Not completely out. This tractor definitely, it's, it's like a Honda Civic. It uses more oil than gas. But that, and I gotta do some more adjustment on the brakes. Because even with them pressed all the way in, my parking brake doesn't stop the tractor from rolling. Really? I hopefully, oh my god. Whatever, here. I gotta figure that out. That's crap. First, I thought I left it on. But, yeah, that's update on the tractor. Well, that's sure better than that car muffler. I've yet to start it with it, but that should be a lot nicer. As in for my hydraulic fittings here. I screwed up a little bit. Oh, I kind of was thinking any measurements or nothing, and... And uh, here's the one fitting that looks like it's some quality uh, goo in there and what's really confusing was each one of these fittings was facing the wrong way I kind of just threaded that one back in I'm pretty sure these go inside the tractor kind of hard to tell uh, one second now well, that's what I'm kind of looking at and it looks like this end doesn't go in there either so, I guess it goes this way first. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter because these are the new Pioneer couplings I bought. And, well, they don't fit. They're too small. So, and the old couplings are junk. That is for sure. I mean, ugh. Missing a bunch of the balls for the lock. There's the other one. Oh. Right here. Yeah, so they're pretty nasty. So I'm glad I'm changing them. Now, for this, my local fleet farm doesn't have the fittings to make those hoses work. And... Even for these, this is the only option they had. They had a kind of little different style of these, but uh, fitting sizes were all the same. So I would have been getting adapters to get it to fit. But this is kind of what I'm going for. This will hopefully will thread in. No. No, come on. No, it doesn't. Uh, <clears throat> Well, that's frustrating. Oh. All right. Hmm. That's all for two. Because then what was kind of going on was I was going to whoopsies. Whoops. Well, up really close up got into this elbow use teflon tape and then uh thread this into there then that'd be my 90 out of the tractor and then the coupling would just fit on the end but nothing fits so that sucks well it's done and it works 
Used it for the whole day today. A good chunk of the day. Put my little panel back on. Put the lights on, got the lights working, and then this one right there burns out. Go figure. But yeah, got the new Pioneer couplings on. So that way, uh, different fittings in there. Go down. Light threads. Oh, wind's really blowing today. But uh, a black pipe and into a, a fitting that necks it down into the rams. One of the bad parts about this, though, it is when you hit this lever. This is the lever for the tilt now to angle the blade. It it goes fast, way too fast. Like you just nudge it, and it's one extreme or the other. So gotta put something in there to kind of reduce the flow, so that way it slows it down. Uh, needs chains on the tires really bad. I was spinning the whole time. Um, the front tires suck. Can't turn in the snow. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's that's about sums it up. Me changing this and adjusting the springs helped preventing the blade from constantly tripping. So that that fixed that problem. But yeah, in the end, worked out pretty slick.